Good morning and welcome to Money Wisdom sponsored by Johnson Brunetti. I'm Jeline Andrews. We are teaching you smart ways to manage your money and joining us now with expert advice is Eric Hogarth, certified financial planner and Johnson Brunetti partner. Thanks for being here today. Of course. Good morning. Okay, awesome. So we are talking about receiving benefits and you say this can vary person to person. It's a big deal, right? Social Security, and most people know you can start it at 62 under normal circumstances, meaning if if you're a widow, you can start it earlier. If you're disabled, you can start it earlier. But 62 is when you can start. You don't have to start. If you delay, it gets bigger. But it's a big deal figuring out when do you start, a question we often get. Right. And as you just said, if you delay starting, then the amount is larger that you receive. Yep. So the earliest you can trigger is 62 years old. The latest is 70. And, you know, every once in a while I talk to someone who's 72 and they haven't taken it yet. It doesn't automatically happen at 70, but the benefit doesn't get any bigger. So take it by 70. But if you wait at 62 until 63, you get 8% more money at 63. And that happens every year until you hit age 70. So the longer you wait, the more you get, but the shorter you get it for. Sure, absolutely. So like you said, it can vary person to person depending on what your personal needs are. And retirement can last longer than people might expect too. Hopefully it does, right? I mean, people are living longer and longer and longer. And that's a big thing is, is when you trigger that benefit, it will pay you every month for the rest of your life. So it gets into, well, did you save other money? Do you have debt? Do you have a pension, right? Social security is, for a lot of people, uh, the biggest part of their retirement income. So depending upon what your situation is, is gonna determine what makes the most sense for taking it. And also, are you still working? Sure, and is it true that you can continue receiving benefits while you are still working? Yes, so that's where this thing that some people read about full retirement age. For most people, it's 67 years old, depending upon when you were born. The significance of that is if you draw Social Security before that age and you continue to work and you make too much money, and too much money is around $19,000 a year, you get penalized, which means you have to give back half of your Social Security, so don't do that. That's a mistake. Almost all the time, that's a mistake. So be mindful of that if you're going to draw it early, you know, you can't make too much money, but you really don't want to draw it until you're done working. Okay, great. So that's the time to start when you're done working. Most often, yes. I mean, generally, the, the more money you save, the more flexibility you have, and the more likely it is that you take it early. I mean, you saved into it for your entire life. The goal is to get as much out of it as possible. And if you wait and you wait and you wait and you wait and you draw it at 70 and you die at 71, you know, and you also have to think about, are you married, right? This benefit's not just for you, right? Sure. Other people involved when it comes to these decisions. And you have a book offer for us today. Understanding your benefits. Um, which is good, and it talks about these things. There's over 400 ways to draw your Social Security benefit, which sounds so, I mean, there's like three that people actually do, but it's a big deal, right? Like I mentioned, if, if there's two of you and you're both gonna get Social Security, when one of you dies, the larger of the two benefits remains. You know, and there's been changes to the laws over the years, so there's a lot going on. Familiarize yourself with it, particularly if you're getting closer to that age. So you can go to moneywisdomtv.com. It's absolutely free. I really encourage you to get it. Understanding your benefits talks all about Social Security and uh, like everything. It doesn't matter what anyone else is doing. It matters what makes the most sense for you. So read it, moneywisdom.com, moneywisdomtv.com, and we'll get it to you. Okay, wonderful. That is moneywisdomtv.com. Thank you so much for being here, Eric. And that will do it for this edition of Money Wisdom. I'm Jeline Andrews. We'll see you next time.